Starting off this countdown, we have the deck of cards. Now, I don't know about you, but a normal deck of cards don't have number one cards. In replace, they have aces. But would you look at that? This odd deck had ones, which makes me very uncomfortable. I don't know about you, but I've never seen this before. If we're playing Go Fish and you whip out a one, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. Jokes aside, we have decks with aces because they can serve as the highest card or lowest. So it can serve as a one or more than one. That's why we don't have ones, according to Google. Don't quote me. So I don't know where this person got their cards from, but it just seems wrong. In our ninth spot today, we have the knockoffs. Sometimes brand name pieces can be expensive, and we want the same or similar item, but cheaper. That's where knockoff brands come into play. Take a look at these cereals. They're so similar, yet so different. So we got cocoa rice instead of cocoa puffs. We got honey nut crispy oats instead of honey nut Cheerios. Fruit rounds instead of fruit loops. Marshmallows and stars instead of lucky charms. Cookies instead of cookie crisp. And lastly, kids crunch instead of captain crunch. Now if I saw an aisle filled with those, I think I was transported to another universe. In our eighth spot today, we have the map. Now let's get to a serious one. In 1929, a group of historians discovered something pretty strange. It was a map from 1513 written on the skin of a gazelle. It was created by a well-known admiral of the Turkish Navy. Well, what's odd is that the map included Europe and North Africa, the coast of Brazil, several islands, and even Antarctica which was not discovered until 300 years later. Not only that, but it was said that Antarctica was not covered in ice. The last time that occurred was more than 6,000 years ago. So this whole thing just doesn't make any sense. How did this man map a continent that's been covered by ice for the last 6,000 years? Maybe he's from a parallel universe, or maybe the map is. Number seven, Deja Vu. No, not the Olivia Rodrigo song, though it's a bop, but the actual experience of Deja Vu. Deja Vu is French for already seen. It's the phenomena of feeling as though one has lived through the present situation before. It is an illusion of memory where, despite a strong sense of recollection, the time, place, and context of the previous experience are uncertain or impossible. Approximately two thirds of survey populations report experiencing deja vu at least once in their lifetimes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I experience deja vu pretty often and it can sometimes be terrifying. Now, there is no scientific explanation to this, but one theory has led many to believe that deja vu occurs when you do something in sync with your counterparts from other dimensions. For example, a person getting deja vu while getting coffee might be due to their alternate universe self getting coffee at the same time as well. It's both cool and creepy. Creepy, and to be honest, this makes a lot of sense to me. Number six. Time travel. Yes, time travel could take us to parallel universes. Time travel is the hypothetical activity of traveling into the past or future, but I truly think it's real. Why? Well, for some proof, there are a lot of celebrities who seem to look exactly like past historical figures. Take Anne Hathaway and her husband, Adam Schulman, they are just the tip of the iceberg. Now, everyone's heard of William Shakespeare, but what you probably don't know about the famous English playwright is that he had a wife named and Hathaway. But that's not the scary part. Adam looks exactly like William Shakespeare. Perhaps him and his wife came back for some unfinished business and to provide the world with more art. Everyone on the internet believes this as people have said they came back for each other, eternal lovers, and history hath a way of repeating itself. Get it? Wink, wink, nudge. Yeah? No? Okay. And one fan claims Shakespeare made a deal with his wife. I get to be famous in this life, and you get to be famous in the next. I truly do believe this. The resemblance is uncanny. There's so many other celebrities as well, so it seems like people wanted to come back to Earth as other people, or they were born as the wrong person in our universe. Number five. The multiverse. Yes, the multiverse is a real thing, and it wasn't just created for the MCU. The multiverse is a hypothetical set of all universes. Together, these universes are presumed to compromise of everything that exists, the entirety of space, time, matter, energy, information, and the physical laws and constants that describe them. The different universes within the multiverse are called parallel universes. One common assumption is that the multiverse is a patchwork quilt of separate universes, all bound by the same laws of physics. 
The concept of multiple universes or a multiverse has been discussed throughout history with origins in ancient Greek philosophy. It has evolved over time and has been debated in various fields including cosmology, physics and philosophy. Although some scientists have analyzed data in search of evidence for other universes, no statistically significant evidence has ever been found, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The anthropic principle suggests that the existence of a multitude of universes, each with different physical laws could explain the fine tuning of our own universe for conscious life. Number 4. The Mandela Effect The Mandela Effect is an observed phenomenon in which a large segment of the population misremembers a significant event or shares a memory of an event that did not actually occur. Fiona Broom, a paranormal researcher, coined the term to describe collective false memory when she discovered that a significant number of people at a conference she was attending in 2010 shared her memory that Nelson Mandela died in prison during the 1980s. In fact, the former president of South Africa was released from prison in 1990 and was very much alive at the time of the conference. This has caused an uproar on the internet with people discussing their experiences. Specific examples include the quote from the Snow White fairy tale which most people believe say mirror mirror on the wall, but is actually magic mirror on the wall. The Star Wars movies encounter a similar circumstance with the quote, Luke I am your father. The real line reads though, no I I am your father. Furthermore, many people collectively have false memories of how the Bearstein Bears book series title is spelt. Most people remember the name as Bearstein Bears using an E instead of the correct A in the last part of the name. But it was an E, I swear. Similarly, many people believe the name of the popular hot dog brand, Oscar Meyer, is spelt Oscar Meyer using an E in the last name instead of the proper A. It's said for the people who remember things incorrectly were in a different universe and then somehow got transferred to this universe. I don't know, but the Mandela effect is extremely real and scary. Number 3. Glitches in the Matrix What is this? Well, some people believe that we live in a simulation that is controlled by other people in a different universe, a parallel universe. These glitches are events that seem comparable to the effects of errors in computer programs or their execution. Some examples of these include objects vanishing and sometimes reappearing, people being seen by different witnesses at different locations at the same time, or not being seen in places where they should be, aka people vanishing, often for considerable amount of times, often with multiple searches, then reappearing and claiming they never left the spot. Changes in everyday familiar objects and time slips and time freezes, where people interact with different time periods, or where they observe all movement and noises cease over a relatively short or larger area. Some glitches have even been caught on camera. Now the idea that we are just test subjects and they control everything Thing terrifies me. And if you guys were listening, I would love it if you could add a million dollars to my bank account, please. Number two, real experiences. There are real stories of people experiencing themselves seemingly switching universes. One online user told this story, It's been about a week and I am still trying to wrap my head around the fact that I might have died in another timeline and just jumped to this one. Background, I was driving down PCH, a very long highway up the coast of California at 8.15pm exactly. And I know this because I called my mom to let her know I was stopping to watch the sunset. As I'm watching the sunset, I hear a car's horn blaring. I turn around and see a car coming straight towards my car and myself and then suddenly I'm sitting on the ground. Very confused, a headache is starting to come on but I wasn't hit. My car wasn't hit and I'm still breathing. Obviously freaked out, I get back up and check my phone to call my mom because this is just crazy and I notice it's 8.13pm. I check my phone to see if I actually did call her but there's no history of it. I shake the nerves off and decide to just get home quickly, thinking maybe that was foreshadowing and event I did not want to relive. Once I'm home, my mom asked me why I called her and just hung up. I asked what time, she said 8.15pm. There's still no history of me calling her on my phone, am I crazy or did I just jump timelines? And guess what people, there are thousands of stories just like this, it can't be a coincidence, can it? And coming in at number 1, we've created our own universe. Yep. 
You heard that right. In 2013, researchers at the University of Maryland, College Park, and Townsend University had reported that they created multiple universes inside a laboratory created multiverse. The researchers created a metamaterial like those used in fashion invisibility cloaks that when light passes through it, multiple universes are formed within it. These universes called Minikowski space times are similar to our own, except they more neatly tie up Einstein's theory of special relativity by including time as a fourth dimension. While this is rather extraordinary, the experimental setup is actually quite simple, though definitely rather unconventional. The multiverse is created inside a solution of Colbit and kerosene. So yeah, we made our own universe, thus proving there are parallel universes. Kicking off the list at number 10, Katie Rocks. You ever hop in the shower first thing in the morning and it feels like literal paradise? Otherworldly, some would say. Well, a new TikTok trend has me meditating in the shower now. Apparently, here we go. TikTok users left, right, and center are stepping forward, or rather backwards, with their claims on entering parallel universes. Nashville model Katie Rocks recently kicked this off and she used the social media platform to recall a 2017 trip to Paris that some of her classmates claimed missed the flight, although Katie saw them with her own eyes. I remember walking on that aircraft past two of my friends and sitting like three rows behind them. Then the four of us took a taxi back to the apartments we were staying in while we were in school and I distinctly remember this. Two days later they're talking about how they weren't three rows in front of us and to this day I have no idea why they remember missing the flight. That's way too close to the plot of Final Destination. Honestly this creeps me out just reading about it. I can't even begin to unravel this one. No way. The same user, Katie Rocks, posted again a month later. This time saying she's since discovered the ability to shift realities. Showers. Hot showers are the key, apparently. I would have guessed baths, but showers are cool too. We'll, we'll take those. Number nine, a familiar face. Username High Life No Miller Light posted this one a couple months back on Reddit. Great name also, gotta, gotta say, that's a really good name. It's since got a lot of attention, uh, let me know what you think. They say, I'm from a very dry, hot state in the US, and I was visiting California on a trip with my wife. While out eating, we both witnessed a person that looked exactly like me. Same typical mid fade and head dents inherited from my father, same body type, only chubby rather than my more slim and athletic frame. I saw the side profile from the back as they walked away from view and it was my exact face. That's so creepy. My wife had a direct view but could not remember directly what my face looked like. But she noted similarities from my body to head and even the way that I walked. I couldn't believe what we saw. Any thoughts? Question mark? I mean, if you didn't mention the head dents and got that specific, this wouldn't have stuck with me like it did. I also love the subtle roast on the other you. You're like, yeah, this guy was just like me, only, you know, not ripped. Otherwise, that's quite creepy. Thanks for sharing. Number eight, Quantum Leap. So yeah, I went down that rabbit hole I talked about and I discovered another TikTok. How fun, we love these, awesome. This Quantum Leap was obtained by Marion Valenza. She took to the social media platform to implore others to take the leap. You know, no more Manifestation Mondays. The key to these Quantum Leaps is a hot shower. Yeah, a hot shower, how convenient is that? Thank God it doesn't suck, you know? Thank God it's not a cold ice bath or else no one would know. Valenza explains the first rule here. Number one is that you wanna give yourself enough time because you don't want to rush this, obviously. You want to do this with intentionality, she says. Yeah, sorry I'm late, boss. I don't want to rush my hot quantum shower. You know how it is. He's like, oh yeah, classic. Next step is to literally visualize the water cleansing you so that it removes all your limiting beliefs, the negative thoughts that you have, all the things holding you back from stepping into your higher self. Visualize not currently being late for work. And then there you go, you're set. I'm gonna try this tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna have a hot quantum shower and arrive at 10.15. In our seventh spot today, we have the stop sign. Again, another item that just makes me uncomfortable. Someone decided to create a lowercase stop sign and it looks like it's like, stop, no, just stop. Like it's too gentle. As a wise movie once said, no, 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 stick to the stuff you know. It's better by far to keep things as they are. Don't mess with the flow stick to the status quo. If you know what movie that's from, I automatically love you. But maybe this person was driving around in another universe, who knows. In our sixth spot today, we have the Aumuamua artifact. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right, because in another video I didn't, so now I'm changing the pronunciation. Let me know if I get it right, just be gentle, folks. In 2017, this object was found flying by in our solar system. Now, it's quite weird. It looks like a space rock, but it's not a comet or asteroid. It's too small and oddly shaped to be an asteroid. This thing is long. In fact, this is now the most elongated known space object. Not only that, but astronomers were shocked by the condition of it. Astronomers thought that the first space rock to enter our solar system would be a ball of ice and rocks like a comet. But this isn't one. 
Now, not only is it not shaped like one, but there's usually a cloud of dust and gas surrounding comets, and this object just doesn't have that. But before scientists could study it too much, it left our solar system. All we know is that the strange object came from another solar system. Or maybe a different universe. And that's why it's so weird and unlike anything we've ever seen before. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Archless McDonald's. Imagine this, okay? You're hungry, you're driving down a road, madly looking for places to stop and eat, and that's when you see it. Off in the distance, you see two golden arches, and you know exactly what awaits you. The one and only McDonald's. Except whatever universe this is in, McDonald's only has one arch. Like, hello, it's not Nick Donald's, it's Mick. So stop, okay? Or maybe someone messed up with the designing this restaurant, I don't know. Also, since when does McDonald's sell just bags of ice? Like, look at the sign. Bag of ice, $1. I mean, it's a steal nonetheless, but still, that's odd on its own as well. In our fourth spot today, we have the Ulfbert sword. Now, this is something scientists like to call an out of place object. And that's because the sword dates back from around 800 to 1000 AD, which is shocking since they didn't have technology to make such swords back then. Swords like this were made 800 years later during the Industrial Revolution. Not only that, but its carbon content is three times higher than other swords of its time. It also suggested that in order to make this sword, iron ore had to have been heated to at least 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Again, they didn't have that technology to do that back then. So many people are perplexed. Well, there are a bunch of theories. One is that it was dropped by a time traveler, or two, it might have come from a parallel universe. One that is far more advanced than ours. But let me know your theory in the comments below. In our third spot today, we have Lost and Found. A number of people on Reddit have shared stories in which they have lost something only for it to reappear in a place where it's impossible to. So let me explain. So one man said that he was with his cousin at Home Depot. Before they went in, the cousin grabbed his wallet, but he didn't have any pockets. So he asked the narrator if he could put his wallet inside his pocket so that he didn't have to carry it around. He agreed and he zipped it into his track pants. After shopping around at Home Depot for a bit, they went to check out, but his wallet wasn't in the track pants. So they retraced their steps thinking maybe it fell out, but nothing. So they decided just to go back to the car and return to the store later. When they got to the car, lo and behold, the wallet was on the dashboard. Which is wild, because the cousin literally handed him the wallet and he zipped it into his pants. Now, one person believes that what happened was the universe glitched. And maybe in another reality, the man just left his wallet on the dashboard. Somehow, those universes merged, hence why the wallet was on the dash. Now, it's all confusing how this stuff works, but that's me explaining it the most basic way possible. In our second spot, we have the little dino looking figures. In 1944, thousands of little dino looking figures were dug up in Mexico. Only problem is that the pieces date back back to 2500 BCE, a time when no dinosaurs were roaming around and people couldn't have possibly known about dinosaurs then. This is all according to scientists. So were there some other creatures that roamed the earth back then that we don't know of? Or is there a time traveling paleontologist out there? Imagine that, like Ross from Friends also being a time traveler, I love that. I don't know, or the object is from another universe. And in our number one spot today, we have the ring. Now this next individual has a similar story to the Home Depot boys. So for her, she was washing the dishes one day when she heard a clink in her sink. Her ring that she took off when she was doing the dishes had slipped and fell into the sink and down the drain. Now it was just a cheap one so she wasn't too concerned, it wasn't like her wedding ring. So she decided to just go on about her day. In the end, she forgot that the ring was even there. That was until a week later when she was putting on her shoes and felt something poking her toe. She emptied out her shoe and her ring clanked to the floor. So somehow, the ring went from being in her sink drain to in her shoe. Someone explain that to me. 
I don't know, maybe house elves are real. In our number 10 spot we have Chick-fil-A. There is something called the Mandela Effect that is a term that was invented to describe a situation where a large group of people remember a situation different than how it is. But of course, if you brought an entire human race into a new dimension, how else are you going to explain how so many people remember different events and situations that happened to the ones they're being presented with now? Naturally, you would invent a term to convince everyone into believing that their memories are false and what they remember was influenced by a common eye trick or a memory trick. Like in the case of Chick-fil-A. A large group of people remember the famous restaurant without a K. I am one of those people actually. When doing my research on this, I thought the incorrect spelling was with the K. But in fact, Chick-fil-A always had a K apparently. The thing that nobody can question me on specifically is a memory I have of looking at a Chick-fil-A sign and thinking, as a kid, why isn't there a K? So take that government. That's a very specific thought memory that you can't influence. Who else remembers it without a K? Let me know in the comment section below. In our number nine spot, we have Skechers. This is another label that has been questioned over the last few years by many, and it has also been attributed to the Mandela effect. Most people agree that the brand Skechers spells their name S-K-E-T-C-H-E-R-S. -E -E but actually in this reality, okay fine, perhaps maybe just in reality in general, who knows, the brand is spelt S-K-E-C-H-E-R-S. -E -E there is apparently no T. This is another situation where I personally remember it being spelled with a T. When I was younger, I remember writing about it in a report for school and I did not know how to spell it. I remember sounding it out and then when I looked it up, I was surprised that it had a silent T. Somebody explain this memory, please. You cannot convince me that it is Skechers with no T. It just doesn't look right. I wonder at what age do people start thinking that there is no T? That'll give us a good idea as to when we got transported into a new dimension. In our number eight spot, we have the Torrid Traveler. I had to include this story in here as it is such a wonder as to why it is not talked about more. Does the government not want people to talk about this for a reason? Possibly. In 1954, there was a man who was traveling to Tokyo, Japan when he got off the plane in Tokyo and was pulled aside by security for having a passport from a country that didn't exist. The customs officials grilled the man on why he had a fake passport and fake custom papers and annoyed, he insisted that his passport and papers were real. He supposedly had all kinds of bank statements and documents from a country in Europe called Torrid. The police pointed to an actual country called Andorra, and apparently the man insisted that yes, that is where his country is, but it is called Torrid, and it's been around for thousands of years. The man was held in a hotel for several hours while the government analyzed his papers. The next morning when the government went into the hotel room to speak with him, he had vanished back to his parallel universe, I think. <laughs> Number seven, Sleep Street. This one comes from username Oopsies. It's like Oopsies, but with a bit more O. Oh. Reoccurring dreams have never been so haunting. Forgot, it's a dark list. Here we go. Ever since I was a teenager, I've dreamed about an alternate life where I go to university and work in a city that I've never been in. It started around when I was 16 or 17, and now I'm 25. It's super detailed where I go on hikes, I hang out with friends, I bike through neighborhoods, and do mundane everyday life things. The university is outside of a major city, and I'm always exploring nature, beaches, islands, all that jazz. Last night, I was feeling sick and in return had one of the most vivid dreams I've had in a long time. I met someone and developed a deep relationship that felt incredibly emotional and real. Luckily, I woke up right when I was trying to navigate Google Maps to drive to a park, so I remember the streets that we were on. The street was called Dutch Island Road. I never heard of it in real life, so I decided to look it up. The only thing that popped up was a rural area in Rhode Island. It wasn't exactly the same layout of the roads I remember on the map, but the nature and area looked eerily similar to what I saw while driving. I started looking around the area, clicking different locations, and I start to freak out on how everything looks just like in my dream. Mind you, I've never been to Rhode Island, but the weirdest part is that specific buildings in the Rhode Island University and Warwick area ones, those are the same ones that I saw in my dream all the time. I've always thought that my dreams are a glimpse of living in an alternate universe, and I feel like this detail solidifies the potentiality of it being a reality. Thoughts? Uh, too many big words. Those are my thoughts. Potentiality, potentiality. I'm gonna start using that in the next list. You'll hear that from me in the future, for sure. Otherwise, so scary. Hope that goes away. Or doesn't? I don't know. Do you like it? I would. I wouldn't like that. If I dreamt 
up in an alternate life. I'm like, yeah, I actually have two jobs. That's exhausting. I never sleep. Number six, good times, dad times. Coming from Reddit user Apprehensive Humor 55, they say, when I was young, from the ages of around three to 10, I was truly convinced I'd already lived a full life. I remember being around 40 years old with a wife and three kids, two boys and a girl. And then one day I just woke up as a child and my past was all just a big blur with random memories that would come to me here or there. I'm smiling because this is funny, but like, it's so scary. This is my biggest fear, I think, in life. It made no sense. My parents said that I used to tell stories about when I was a dad and they would just laugh it off and be like, oh, that's your imagination, obviously. But deep down, I genuinely did have these strange memories of a past life. For instance, when I was four years old, my family went to Disney World and the whole car ride down, I was telling stories about when I was a dad and I went to Disney World. <laughs> just a kid in the back seat with milk, like, oh yeah, these roads. Still haven't fixed them. The weirdest thing is that when we got to Disney World, I knew that I'd already been there before. I knew where everything in the park was and was essentially showing my family everything. At that time, my family just thought it was weird that I knew where everything was, but at the time in my head, it all made sense. To me, I just knew where all the rides were because of when I was a dad. After a while, I stopped telling these stories of when I was a dad because my siblings would always make fun of me for it. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing, this is my worst, you, you, I'm laughing at you a little bit, this is crazy. Eventually, I just started going on with my life and haven't thought about much of it since, although I wish I did, because the memories back then were much more vivid and real than how they are now. He's gonna be so confusing, 30 years to his kids, he's like, ah, oh, when I was a dad for the first time, Disney was way less busy. Kids are like, first time? What other family? What are you talking about? Why is mom crying? That's so scary. Um, I buy into this. I don't know, the afterlife, maybe that past dad died and then you're reborn? I don't know, that's scary, I don't wanna think of it. Number five, spirit animal. Do you believe in spirit animals? I kinda do, I want to at least. Ever since I watched Harry Potter, I always wanted a Patronus. Mine would be a frog for sure. It'd be like a little, little, little lanky frog. Wouldn't be cool at all. This next one makes me want to believe. Coming from user Less Cold, they say, about 30 years ago, I was a young college student heading back to college after break in an overnight bus. I was about 19, didn't drink or anything, had no history of mental illness, and was reading a book when seamlessly, I wasn't in the bus anymore. I was now swimming around a rock formation, which I knew was part of my hunting territory and was chasing a fish, which I then caught in my mouth and could feel the bones crushing between my teeth and it wriggling against my whiskers. That's how they posted it. No, in between, they're just like, yeah, I was reading a book and all of a sudden, I'm a fish. I was totally at ease. I was fast and agile and I could feel the drag of the water, like, you know, the pull of the current, question mark. I like how they included that, mansplaining the current of the water. They're like, I being a fish know this, but do you know about this? I'm like, yeah, we know about currents, man. <sighs> I'll continue. As I moved effortlessly through it, I knew my body and where I was going and what I was doing and there was no alarm whatsoever that anything was amiss. You know, I didn't realize that I was really a 19 year old on a bus. The whole experience couldn't have lasted longer than 30 seconds or so, and then just as seamlessly as I once was there, I was then again back on the bus. I remember sitting there for a second, staring at the page of my book before, you know, having a WTF just happened reaction kicked in, and then I had a bit of a mental freak out. Then a few years later, I saw a documentary about sea otters, and I knew then that that's what I had been for that brief moment in time. I knew it's impossible, but it happened to me, and surely I can't be the only one. I don't know, man, I've never been a sea otter before. Chris, have you been a sea otter? You don't think so, you don't think, you never know, never say never though. Has anybody ever heard of something like this, or have, has it happened to you? Have you been reading a book and then all of a sudden you're a sea otter eating a fish with whiskers? If so, sound off down below. Sea otters are just smacking the keyboard. They're like, help, help me switch back. Number four, switching universes. Coming from Mulks23, this one is so specific that it may very well just be real. Honestly, I'm a little convinced. I've been wanting to share this for some time now. A few months ago, one morning, I believe when I woke up, I did so to a different universe. Similar to ours, but different in some aspects. Before I went to sleep the night before, I kept my Surface tablet on my nightstand and it was absolutely fine. The next day when I open it though, I could see a large crack across the top. There's nothing, repeat nothing, that could have caused the crack. I was disappointed, of course, the tablet's new, but I didn't think much of it. However, over the course of the following days, I noticed some things slash events are significantly different than how I remember them to be. An actress that I know was married to a gangster is happily now married to a businessman. A different actress married said gangster, a name that I would have definitely known. I'm from India and I settled in US and this is a Bollywood actress in question. A series that was being released on Amazon Prime is now on Netflix, question mark. Yeah, that happens all the time. I'm I'm still asking those questions myself. I'm watching Harry Potter on like three different platforms. Like, what's going on? The movie Morbius, I've seen this movie. I thought they must have remade this or something, but nope, it was a new movie. A few other things as well, but those I can attribute to misplaced memories. Not the above though. Also, I definitely did not hit my head or anything which could have caused me to remember things differently. I mean, after all of that, I gotta ask, how is Morbius? It doesn't look that bad, honestly. Hope Spider-Man's in it. Thanks for sharing, Mulks23. Hopefully you're in the right universe. Number three, Cosmic Commute. This one has me stumped, folks, I'm not gonna lie. Username Icy Flame to you says, in January, I left my friend's home at almost midnight. I live not even 10 minutes north of her. I remember getting in my car and then boom, 
I'm pulled over by the police. It's 2.10 a.m. now, and I'm one hour north of her, close to crossing state lines. In a city I have never been to, I didn't even know how to get out there and what freeways I took, as we are not really close to any freeways. How did I get there, and what happened to a whole extra hour? When I returned home, I was having such anxiety from it all that I was throwing up and everything. We just don't understand what happened. The comments were supportive here. Some suggest to look into epilepsy, but the OP responded right after saying that they did, and luckily that wasn't the case. So, what do you guys think it is? Comment down below. I think definitely a time leap. That's pretty crazy. Number two, dog treats and universe leaps. Anything involving dogs, I buy into it. I mean, who would lie about dogs for attention, right? Only psychos, I guess. Username meman42069 says, when I was getting ready to go to my brother's house, I packed some stuff for my dog since he was coming. I put my dog's toys, leash, two dog shirts, and treats. I packed them all up, and when I got to my brother's house, I was looking for my dog's treats, and my dog's treats were not there. I vividly remember putting my dog's treats in a bag, and the weird thing was, when I got home, his treats were in the exact spots that I picked it up from and it didn't fall out of the bag and somebody didn't put it back because I live alone. So I was thinking maybe I slipped into a parallel universe where I didn't pack my dog treats. I've been weirded out by it for the past year and I've been trying to come up with a better reason. I mean that sounds alarming 100% but panicking about anything that involves dog treats it's just hilarious to me. Sorry. Yeah I hope you figure out your problem but more importantly I hope your dog doesn't get stiffed on treats again. And finally number one 2016 again. This one caught my attention. It caught it real, real bad. Posted five days ago by user Silence v Silence. They say, the universe is currently shifting, and it has been the past few days. The last time a change took place like this was November 2016-ish. Some of you already know this. I'm sure you felt it in the air over the past week like I have. It feels positive. I hope it is. First comment has tons of upvotes here, and it says, your ears ringing real bad too? Question mark. This is insane, because my ears have been ringing a lot in the past month. I mentioned it to Olivia, swear to God. Are your ears ringing? I don't know, what universe are we in? Do we want a part two of this list? Hit that thumbs up if so. Coming up in our number 10 spot, we have cosmic inflation. The first half of this list is gonna be some scientific explanations for parallel universes, but don't worry, the science won't get that complicated because then I wouldn't be able to understand it either. <laughs> first, let's start off by talking about the theory of eternal inflation. This is the idea that ever since the Big Bang, the universe has been rapidly expanding or inflating inflating and different parts of the universe have been inflating at different rates. This means that there are some sections of the universe that haven't really connected up with the rest, yet creating a sort of bubble universe. While our own universe has inflated enough to breed galaxies and stars and, and physics and science and whatever else, these other bubble universes are still in the process of creation. They have the potential to be the exact same to ours, or completely different from ours. Or maybe there is a you in one bubble universe that didn't get that bad haircut that you still really regret. One time, my mom cut my hair like Marilyn Monroe. It was brutal. Coming up in our number nine spot, we have mathematical constants. Similar to that theory is the fact that everything in our known universe can be explained with mathematical equations. Think the Pythagorean theorem. Scientists know that the structure of our universe can be broken down into our mathematical structure. Math, that is, as they call it, without human baggage. They believe that because of this, it is entirely possible to hypothesize that there are other universes out there that are based around different mathematical structures, each universe having their own laws and rules based off of the structure. So infinite mathematical structures means infinite universes, some being just slightly different and some being totally, completely different. Coming up in our number eight spot, we have backwards universe. Two years ago, in 2020, NASA discovered what they believe is evidence of a parallel universe, one that is more than a little bit different to ours. Their team called Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA, had been working on an experiment in, of course, Antarctica for a few years. A so-called cosmic ray detection experiment reportedly found particles that seemed to come from another universe, one that was also created created when the Big Bang took place. While this evidence alone is pretty astounding, they also discovered that the particles appeared to be moving in reverse, leading them to believe that they had found evidence of a parallel universe where time moves backwards. While parallel universes are often just the work of science fiction and movies, we may be closer to finding the truth of the situation than we originally thought. In our number seven spot, we have the case of Lorena Garcia. This is a very interesting story. I definitely think it is possible that this story was covered up as it is a story that 
a lot of people do not know of and may be shocked to hear about. A woman by the name of Lorena Garcia woke up one morning to find that nothing was familiar to her. Her home, her friends, her job, she did not recognize a thing. She still looked like herself and had the same name, but her room and basically everything was different. The story made a few newspapers, but it eventually died. As it would, of course, if it is a story that a lot of people shouldn't hear about so that we don't all start collectively putting the pieces together and questioning everything, as we probably would. People thought that she suffered from memory loss, however, all signs actually pointed to her being in perfect health, as well as nothing traumatic had occurred that would make anyone believe that theory. So. In conclusion, she probably slipped into a parallel dimension that the government didn't want us to know about. In our number six spot, we have the backwards universe. An experiment was done by NASA's Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA. ANITA, darling. <laughs> A little 101 Dalmatians reference for ya. Gosh, I get distracted so easily. <laughs> An experiment was performed high above Antarctica where it was observed that there is a constant wind of high energy particles coming up from the Earth, and these findings showed scientists that these particles actually traveled backwards in time, which suggests a parallel universe. Quote Low energy subatomic neutrinos with a mass close to zero can pass completely through Earth, but high Higher energy objects are stopped by the solid matter of our planet, according to this report. That means the high energy particles can only be detected coming down from space, but the teams ANITA detected heavier particles, so called tau neutrinos, which come up out of the Earth. Is this proof of another backwards dimension? Some scientists, such as Peter Gorham, believe it is possible. In our number five spot, we have Star Wars. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> okay. This one could very well have been misconstrued over time as people have repeated this in many movies and it's possible that someone somewhere just decided to throw in the Luke bit so that people understood which character Vader was the father of. Makes sense. But still in online platforms people are convinced that at some point in time Darth Vader said Luke I am your father instead of what is actually said I am your father. No Luke. Is this a sign that in another universe Luke was actually said? I don't know. This is a bit of a weak sign for me, but others disagree. Would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did the government cover this one up? <laughs> in our number four spot, we have the Triangle Phenomena. The Bermuda Triangle, the Alaskan Triangle, the Nevada Triangle. These are all strange places that puzzle people around the world. These are places where planes and people have gone missing on many accounts. It could be a strange coincidence, but a lot of people believe that these disappearances are more likely a sign of a portal to another dimension. Perhaps these people and planes traveled through these portals and ended up somewhere else, as not a body or piece of the planes have ever ever been found from any of these places. There has to be some explanation. Either that, or it's a government special operation, or there's mythical creatures getting in the way. There are so many theories around these triangles, but the number one theory is that they are a sign of a parallel universe. In our number three spot, we have unidentified objects. Over the years, there have been a lot of unidentified objects that have popped up around the world that no one can explain. Archaeologists have discovered items that don't belong in areas that they are exploring, and at times there have even been objects that don't seem like they are a part of this world or from this world. A good example of this is a hammer that was found in London in the 1930s, and this hammer is said to be over 500 million years old. Wow, when humans weren't known to exist. There was also an object that was found that is a sort of stone like computer that would have been from 2,000 years ago, and this object was found near a Greek island not too long ago. Many people believe these mysterious objects are traveling through dimensions and that they are a huge sign that there are universes that we are unaware of. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. In our number two spot, we have Area 51. Look, it is no secret that Area 51 is the most unusual place and it is probably one of the most guarded places in the world, but why? The government's explanation is that it's a secret army operation place. Sure, okay. If we wanted to plan future attacks or train for future wars, we will definitely need a secret place 
place to do those things. So that's a pretty good reason, and that's why it's believable to your average Joe that doesn't bother to look into it any further. But for the person that decides to look into some of the stories that surround Area 51, man, are there many they might think otherwise. The most popular theory is that there is a parallel universe portal inside, as people in the surrounding area have reported disappearing and showing up in random locations. In our number one spot, we have the particle test. There is a large hadron collider that is the largest and highest particle collider and is 27 kilometers below the surface of the Earth, aka in an underground facility between the France Switzerland border. It was originally designed between 1998 and 2008 by CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, as a collaboration project between 10,000 scientists and hundreds of labs and universities from over a hundred different countries. It is believed that the purpose of this device was to create a black hole in reality which may take us to a parallel universe. Regardless of what they were actually doing, they did stumble across something pretty crazy. Apparently the scientists threw a bunch of particles around at crazy speeds and noticed that the particles disappeared for a moment and they were able to measure how long the particles disappeared for. From this experiment, it has been assumed that the particles traveled to new dimensions or planes of existence when they disappeared. One of the scientists at CERN by the name of Aurelien Barrow has even said, the multiverse is no longer a model. It is a consequence of our models. Well, sounds like proof to me. The government's got to do a better job at hiding this. <laughs> Number 10, Theory of Relativity. In our everyday lives, we experience three spatial dimensions and a fourth dimension of time. How could there be more? Einstein's general theory of relativity tells us that space can expand, contract, and bend. Now, if one dimension were to contract to a size smaller than an atom, it would be hidden from our view. But if we could look on a small enough scale, that hidden dimension might become visible again. Now, imagine a person walking on a tightrope. She can only move forwards and backwards, but not left left or right nor up or down. She only sees one dimension. Ants living on a much smaller scale could move around the cable in what would appear like an extra dimension to the tightrope walker. You know how they explain the upside down in Stranger Things? Yeah, well it'd be the same thing. So does that mean that the upside down really exists? Cause I do not want to come face to face with a Demogorgon or Vecna. <laughs> Number 9. Dan Cooper One of the most famous heists in history occurred on November 24th, 1971, when a man who identified himself as Dan Cooper bought a one-way ticket to Seattle on Northwest Orient Airlines from Portland, Oregon. After the plane was airborne, Dan handed the flight attendant a note. At first, she just put it in her pocket without looking, but then Cooper told her, Miss, you better look at that note. I have a bomb. He opened a briefcase and revealed red-colored sticks surrounded by an array of wires. He told the flight attendant to write down everything he was saying, and then take it to the captain. The note said, I want $200,000 by 5 p.m. in cash exclusively in $20 bills put in a knapsack. I want two back parachutes and two front parachutes. When we land, I want a fuel truck ready to refuel. No funny stuff or I'll do the job. FBI agents assembled the ransom money and Seattle police obtained the parachutes from a local skydiving school. When Dan claimed his demands were met, he allowed all passengers and some of the crew to exit the airplane. He told the remaining crew to refuel the plane and chart a course for Mexico City while staying below 10,000 feet. Then somewhere between Seattle and Reno, he jumped from the plane with the money and he was never seen again. Despite an expansive manhunt for over 45 years of searching, no conclusions have been made as to the man's identity or his fate after he jumped. It's called one of the greatest cold cases in FBI and US history, but many think he was from a parallel universe and just wanted some money. I don't know, but it makes you think. Number 8. Backwards Parallel Universe A group of NASA scientists working on an experiment in Antarctica have detected evidence of a parallel universe where the rules of physics are the opposite of our own, according to a report. A cosmic ray detection experiment has found particles that could be from a parallel realm that were also born in the Big Bang. The experts used the giant balloon to carry NASA's Antarctic Impulsive Transit Antenna, or ANITA, high above Antarctica, where the frigid dry air provided the perfect environment with little to no radio noise to distort its findings. A
constant wind of high energy particles constantly arrives on Earth from outer space. Low energy subatomic neutrinos with a mass close to zero can pass completely through Earth, but higher energy objects are stopped by the solid matter of our planet. That means high energy particles can only be detected coming down from space, but the teams Anita detected heavier particles, so called Todd neutrinos, which come up out of Earth. The finding implies that these particles are actually traveling backwards in time, suggesting evidence of a parallel universe. So, there you go. In our number seven spot today, we have observable universe. Now, let's talk about what scientists believe about the shape of space. In your head, maybe you imagine a big sphere or even some sort of donut but most likely it's actually flat. And it stretches out infinitely, like forever, never ending. And if it goes on forever, then at some point it has to start repeating because there is a finite number of ways that particles can be arranged within space and time. So if you looked far enough, you would eventually find another version of you, maybe wearing a different shirt or eating something different for breakfast. Maybe a version of you that didn't watch this far in the video, but hey, we like this version of you better anyways. <laughs> Unfortunately, it would be pretty hard to actually see this far down the universe because our observable universe only extends 13.7 billion light years. This being the amount of time light has had to travel since the Big Bang. So you can consider the space beyond our observable universe to be its own sort of separate universe. One that we just can't see yet and probably won't for a long time, if ever. In our number six spot, we have time travel. Think about time travel for a second. Maybe you thought of Back to the Future. The concept of this movie is that if you go back in time and change one small thing, it can completely alter the future. Some scientists believe that time travel is a definite possibility in our future. So if it is, why haven't we seen anybody come back yet? And have they been screwing around and messing things up? Well, it's theorized that due to the way they would alter the universe, when time travel Travelers go back in time, they actually create their own separate universe where things change. A parallel universe that works to include them in it. That would explain why we have never seen any real evidence of time travelers coming back to our current time, or even any point in the past. Because they did not travel back in time in our universe, but instead to their own unique one. Am I melting your brain yet? Let's move on to some simpler stuff. In our number five spot, we have different life. For the second half of our list, we are going to be stepping away from science and taking a look at some people's stories of their experiences with glitches in the matrix that may lend evidence to there being parallel or multiple universes. One day, a man was in his house when he became overcome with the urge to go outside and stand on his lawn. For a moment, he said he had the clearest feeling ever before he felt a slight wobble and everything began feeling slightly distorted. When it was over and he turned to go back inside, he saw his car in the driveway, the same make and model, but a different colored car. Car. But that wasn't the only thing that was different. When he saw his wife, he said that she definitely looked like his wife, but he just had this feeling that she was different. He also started having memories that weren't his and seeing buildings that, you know, there was no way he could have never noticed in his time living there. Entire departments from his work no longer existing. Is it possible this man jumped to a parallel universe where his life was only slightly different? Maybe. In our number four spot, we have wrong memory. This one is a story of a false memory, seeming like an intense version of the Mandela effect. The Mandela effect being when a large group of people all share a false memory of something, which we mentioned in detail on the previous list. This person says that they vividly remember someone they know dying in a car accident, texting and driving and going off an exit ramp that was still under construction. They remember themselves and their family and friends attending the funeral and everyone in their small town talking about it for weeks. Skip to 10 years later. Even the person's fiance knew about it and knew the person's name because of how many times they had told the story. One day, their fiance is looking at their sister's Facebook page and says, hey, isn't that the girl who died? The person came over to look and it turns out that it was. Apparently also no one in the town after this incident had any memory of the car accident or the funeral that took place afterwards. So did this person potentially have a memory from a parallel universe where the accident had taken place? It's possible. 
Coming up in our number three spot, we have disembodied voice. People who believe strongly in multiverses and parallel universes usually believe that there are some places and occasions where the gaps between our universes are thinner, and it is easier for things to cross over or for the universes to communicate with each other. This story seems like one of those moments where the barrier was thin. When this person was around the age of 10, they were going to the beach with their aunt and friends when they were divided between two different cars. One of the cars didn't know the directions, so they were following behind the other car. When Suddenly, it took a sharp turn and they had to follow and do the same, going around a very sharp bend. Suddenly, they all heard a very loud, clear voice in the car saying, sharp bend, hmm? The driver of the car hit the brakes as they all looked at each other confused, confirming there was no one else in the car that had said that. There wasn't even anyone close by outside the car who could have said it. So maybe it was someone managing to speak through the thin barrier between the universes? Or was it a ghost? You decide. In our number two spot, we have the motorcycle crash. Sometimes people experience situations where the impossible seems to happen and maybe it is impossible, but only in our current universe. This person told their story of a death-defying crash. Six years ago, they were riding through town on a motorcycle going about 45 miles per hour. Suddenly, a woman who hadn't seen them turned left out in front of them and despite the short amount of time, they remembered thinking about their options, whether they should go over or under the car. They laid the bike down and slid underneath the car diagonally. They slid across the pavement, no helmet, no jacket, just jeans and a hoodie. They slid about 80 feet before they stopped and were then able to stand up. No injuries, except a hole in their sweater, their bike having been completely mangled and torn apart. They knew that there was no way that they should have survived the crash, but somehow they did. A potential glitch in the matrix of the universe? Possibly. In our number one spot, we have takeout. Have you ever heard of Schrodinger's cat? Me either. <laughs> the idea that if you put a cat inside a box with a bottle of poison, the cat is in a state of being both living and dead until you open the box and find out. Well, it turns out that you know the food you ordered last night, your takeout, is also in a state of being your order and not your order until you open it up and find out. A man and his friend went to a Chinese restaurant where they ordered a chicken dinner and a shrimp dinner. When they received their boxes and opened them both, they realized that they had received two shrimp dinners. No big deal, just a mix up. So they close the boxes and get ready to go ask for a replacement. But before they do, the friend opens the first box again and instead of the shrimp dinner they had clearly seen before, it was now a chicken dinner, what they had originally ordered. They knew what they had both clearly seen. Was it possible that for a few seconds they had received their lunch from a parallel universe where they had ordered something else? Maybe. Number 10, dreams. One theory with dreams is that we are visiting other realities while we sleep. Dreaming has always been a confusing topic for scientists and theorists because we have never gotten a guaranteed correct answer as to what exactly dreams are or why we even get them. One of the bigger theories surrounding dreams is that when we are dreaming, we are actually getting a glimpse into multiple parallel universes and what's happening there. By dreaming, we get to know what other versions of ourselves are doing in their respective universes. So yes, unfortunately one time you did go to school naked. Sorry. Psychologists think that during dreams, we turn information into multi-dimensional design based on our consciousness. Some believe that dreams are a way of our other selves reaching out to us and communicating with us, and it's an interesting theory because you have to take into consideration lucid dreaming and how some people have claimed to go to different realms while dreaming. Now perhaps there exist advanced technology in other universes that allow people to reach out to their other selves. Now I don't know about you guys, but I kind of believe this. I've had dreams where I go through my day as normal, and then the next day when I wake up, everything that happened in my dream happens in real life. Is that another version of me trying to warn myself of future events? Who knows, but it is 
trippy. Number nine, black holes. Now some people think black holes are actually portals to other dimensions. This theory was originally put forward by Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking believed that black holes are actually portals to another dimension or parallel universe and that anything that gets sucked into a black hole is actually transported to the other dimension. It has already been scientifically proven that black holes have two openings, so it is pretty plausible to assume that whatever is at the other end might just be a separate reality. Either way, I think we should test it out and see if it really is, and guess what? I volunteer's tribute. Number eight, the cosmic bruise. In 2017, scientists at Durham University discovered a weird cold spot in our universe. This cold spot is sometimes referred to as a bruise, and the scientists who discovered it believe that it might have come into existence after our universe collided with another and created an astronomical catastrophe. A controversial claim by Laura Mershini Hooten is that it could be an imprint of another universe beyond our own, caused by quantum entanglement between universes before they were separated by cosmetic inflation. Laura said standard cosmology cannot explain such a giant cosmic hole and made the hypothesis that the cold spot is the unmistakable imprint of another universe beyond the edge of our own. If true, this provides the first empirical evidence for a parallel universe, though theoretical models of parallel universes existed previously. It would also support string theory. The team claims that there are testable consequences for its theory. If the parallel universe theory is true, there there will be a similar void in the celestial sphere's opposite hemisphere. What could come as a bigger surprise since then though, a few other cold spots have turned up. So if what those guys at Durham University are saying is true, then our universe has collided with not one, but multiple universes. This is the biggest piece of evidence pointing to the existence of multiple alternate realities or parallel universes. Number 7. Mirrors Mirrors are thought to be portals to another world, and some believe this is another dimension, but those who believe in ghosts believe it's a portal to the other side. Now many cultures still hold on to their superstitions that exist concerning mirrors, ghosts, souls, and death. The act of covering your mirror overnight is something that is done in multiple cultures and across many beliefs worldwide. As Anthony Parada from AP Astrology explains, mirrors are often seen as a portal into the liminal space and the other world and have the power to reflect what is happening deep in our subconscious. However, while bedroom mirror ideas are fabulous for reflecting light in the day, time, they are at their most powerful when paired with sleep, say experts. There's also a notion that if you look into a mirror too long, you can see your face distort, and there's always that thing where people are scared their reflection is going to move when they are not. And why would the reflection move? Because it's someone from another dimension trying to copy us. Number 6. Doppelgangers A doppelganger is a biologically unrelated lookalike or double of a living person. You might have heard the phrase, there are seven other versions of you in the world. Now, a study of lookalikes, unrelated people with faces so similar they could pass for identical twins, has found that such pairs share genetic traits. Scientists studied 32 pairs of individuals with uncannily similar headshots who are part of a long-running project by a Canadian photographer to document these faux twins. The 16 pairs found by computer analysis to have the most similar features also shared more genetic variants than the less similar pairs, the researchers concluded. Now, that's not a huge surprise because researchers are already using genetics to predict face shape. The fake twins did not share DNA methylation patterns, chemical marks controlling gene expressions that are shaped by our environment, reinforcing the dominant role of DNA alone plays in determining our appearance. Now could this be an appearance of you who's accidentally in the wrong universe? Maybe. Maybe. Number 5. Third man syndrome. Sometimes when people get into really bad car accidents, there's some sort of supernatural phenomenon that happens to you. You may have heard of this as a video is now going viral on TikTok, and it's called third man syndrome, and it's an unseen presence that appears during traumatic survival situations that talks to the victim, gives them practical advice, and encourages them. Now this has happened to many people, and we don't know if it's some sort of angel speaking to them, or if it's another version of themselves from a different dimension telling them not to give up. Regardless, it is creepy. Now, under one of these posts, someone said, As a paramedic, I can concur. Many patients swear people were there and no one's around. So, what can explain this? I'm not too sure, but it's comforting that someone is there with people experiencing such tragedies. 
Number four, shifting realities. So in 2020, there was a lot of talk on TikTok about people shifting realities as we were in lockdown. People were in realities where they were famous, were a part of Hogwarts, and so much more. But is there any truth to it? Reality shifting is a term that refers to the spiritual practice of transferring or shifting one's consciousness to an alternate reality and or the attempt to alter the reality one is experiencing and transcending one's physical confines to visit alternate universes. Now, reality shifting, also known as shifting, is a form of manifestation rooted in Buddhism and Hinduism. So it's not just something made up by teenage girls. The techniques include hypnosis, transcendental meditation, biofeedback, binaural sounds, affirmations, and subliminal stimuli. So if you can shift to another universe, then that means there are parallel universes, right? <laughs> Number three, Hadron Collider. The world's largest particle accelerator was turned on once again in the year of 2022. After three years of upgrades and maintenance, it immediately observed three exotic particles for the first time. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is now up and running and breaking records for the highest energy particle collisions ever performed. It's pretty exciting with the teams involved searching for more information on the so-called God particle, the Higgs boson, and signs of dark matter. And this machine could test for other dimensions. Now, how would they test for extra dimensions? One option would be to find evidence of particles that can exist if only dimensions are real. Theories that suggest extra dimensions predict that in the same way as atoms have low energy ground state and excited high energy states, there would be heavier versions of standard particles in other dimensions. These heavier versions of particles called closet clean states would have exactly the same properties as standard particles and so be visible to our detectors, but with a greater mass. If CMS or ATLAS were to find Z or W like particle, the Z and W bosons being carriers of the electroweak force, with a mass 100 times larger for instance, this might suggest the presence of extra dimensions. Such heavy particles can only be revealed at high energies reached by the LHC, so we could potentially find out if there are indeed other dimensions. Number two, quantum immortality. Quantum immortality started as a thought experiment in the late 1980s and later was more fully developed by physicist and cosmetologist Max Tegmark. It suggests that we can die many times throughout our lives. With each passing, our consciousness moves, slides, jumps, or shifts to the closest timeline, very similar to the one where we died. These ideas and application of the concept lie outside of the realm of science, but have been embraced by many of those who believe they have experienced such a shift. While Science and skeptics may not agree, others are not so quick to dismiss the idea. There are reports of near-death experiences which validate these beliefs. Now, Most people do not realize that they have jumped until later unless the event is particularly traumatic. Sometimes they can trace the shift back to a specific global tragedy or experience. Small differences are sometimes noted and the result of earlier choices or decisions in which manifest in the new reality. And coming in at number one are psychics. Whenever psychics tap into the spirit world, you're tapping into a different timeline as their time is completely different than it is here, so that's why sometimes predictions don't come true. This is like when the 2016 presidential election happened. They were sure that Hillary was going to win, but then she didn't. Due to this, people think we shifted timelines in 2016. Now, One reason for the sudden shift? Well, back in April 2016, CERN Weasel made it into the super collider I was talking about before and chewed its way through a 66,000 volt transformer. Workers found the charred remains later. Now, that definitely could have messed a lot of things up. All I gotta say is, stupid weasel. <laughs>